North Korea carried out more than 20 ballistic missile tests last year, including a successful launch of the Musudan missile, which could reach U.S. bases in Guam. Since the election of a new U.S. president, such activity had paused until now. South Korea's military called it a show of force directed at President Donald Trump and said it was ready to meet any provocation. We sternly warn that if the Kim Jong-un regime does not give up its delusion of nuclear missile provocations, the North Korean regime will destroy itself in the near future. The military here says this missile could be a new variant of the Musudan with a solid instead of liquid-fueled engine. The benefits of such a weapon would be pretty obvious, potentially more concealable, more reliable. But there are also good political reasons for North Korea to fire off any missile right now. Thursday marks the 75th anniversary of the birth of the current leader's late father, Kim Jong-il. Missile tests in the run-up to such dates have happened before. North Korea also has a history of testing the response of new U.S. presidents. Donald Trump, meeting Japan's prime minister, kept his response very brief. I just want everybody to understand and fully know that the United States of America stands behind Japan, its great ally, 100 percent. Thank you. It was a more muted response from President Trump than he gave to the New Year message of Kim Jong-un, in which he said North Korea was almost ready to carry out an intercontinental ballistic missile test. Trump tweeted flatly that it wouldn't happen without specifying how he'd stop it. North Korea has already carried out ground tests of a new long-range engine and a re-entry vehicle. A full test of a complete missile would be a much stronger challenge to President Trump and regional neighbors worried about how a U.S. response would play out. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.